Nami and Robin have really big boobies. We know that. And you know what? That brings me to the topic of today's video. Today I want to talk about the over-sexualization of the female characters in One Piece and whether or not I think it is a problem. The first thing to understand is it was not always like this. In the very beginning of the series, if you look at pictures of Nami, which you will be seeing on screen, Nami looked like a normal girl, at least as much as like a normal girl an animated character can look. Now her boobs were modest, and her waist was modest. She looked normal, and I could see a girl having a figure and breast like that. And you could walk in on me when watching the episode, and you wouldn't think anything of it. But over the course of a couple of arcs, they started getting bigger. And eventually, around what I would say was any lobby, it just got really bad. Her waist started getting really skinny. But it still wasn't bad. I mean, Nami was like 16. You know, Nami was like 16, 17 at the time. So it made sense that she'd be going through puberty a little bit. And her boobs would be getting bigger. I, got, I could believe it. But then we got to the two-year time skip. During the two-year time skip, Nami and Robin gained figures that are impossible. No woman can have a figure like that. They are way too skinny, and their boobs became way too big. Nami also, pre-time skip, would always wear a shirt. She rarely wore bikinis besides in, like, fan service scenes that were pretty rare. And... She always wore a shirt, a shirt, but now post time get that's not the case. She's almost always in a bikini top, and you can definitely see the over -sexualization. And Robin as well, while Robin does wear a shirt, you can still almost always see some boob, and it is without a doubt an issue. Now, I'll be honest, I have a Nami figure in my room, I have, but not to be perverted, I have a ton of figures. I have a Frankie figure, a Robin figure, a Luffy figure, I've got figures. And one time my grandparents were over and in my room, and they were like, what the hell is this? When they saw Nami, and I was like, yeah, it's a problem, Oda, over, Oda, the writer of the series, over the character, I know that. But it wasn't until Dress Rosa, where I think the over became way too much of an issue. Rebecca in the Coliseum in Dressrosa was practically naked the entire time. Her armor, and it didn't even make sense. They were like, why are you even wearing armor? It doesn't even cover anything. You have to wear regular clothes at that point. And I'll be honest, it made me somewhat uncomfortable because Rebecca is 16 years old. I mean, and yeah, at first when I was catching up, when I was like 15, it was fine, but I'm eight, I'm 17, going on 18 now. Rebecca's like 15 years old, and I was like, no, like I'm not gonna look at a 15 year old girl like that, that's weird. And it, she was really over sexualized. Her boobs were focused on way too much, and that was actually one of the reasons I didn't want her to join the crew. Oda proceeded to ruin a character for me by over sexualizing them. But granted, I had other reasons why I didn't like Rebecca, but she was still very over sexualized. Now, is the over sexualization a major problem? I'm going to say yes, it is. And here is why. I would not feel comfortable watching certain episodes of One Piece at my grandparents'. Even in the guest room late at night when they're both asleep, there are some episodes I wouldn't watch. Because if they saw it, it would make it very uncomfortable. The point is, is that if your family is very conservative, or if your family is very strict about sex and sexualized characters, if you walk in on some parts of the Drek Rosa arc in the Coliseum, is they're going to think, what the hell are you watching? What is this? Is this porn? Like, there are some things in there, not fairy tale level, but close to just as bad as fairy tale. Where you would think you're watching something inappropriate. And yes, that's not everything One Piece is. I know that, but other people don't. And I feel like you shouldn't need to worry about when it is and isn't appropriate to watch One Piece. 
Nigga, 90% of the time, One Piece is a very age-appropriate series for pretty young children. But, when you add stuff like that, it just ruins it for me. Now, I will be doing a video in the future about whether or not One Piece is for kids. But that's not the point is that most of One Piece kids can watch. A good majority of it. But there are some scenes that are just so sexualized, I would go on saying it's borderline adult. And I think the over-sexualization is a problem. So yeah, that's my opinion on the over-sexualization. Does the over-sexualization in One Piece bothering you? Tell me in the comment section down below. And look out for tomorrow's video, which will be about the sexualization or lack of sexualization in the Naruto franchise, and why that makes Naruto so damn great. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, like the video if you did, subscribe for more videos, and the One Piece Nation, signing out, have a great day.